Hi there, I'm Andrea Koppel, and it's time for Coffee, the podcast where you get to hear firsthand what the jobs and careers that interest you the most are really like. Hey there, Java junkies. Welcome to another K-Cup mini episode of Time for Coffee. By the way, K-Cups come in three sizes, single, double, and triple shots, or roughly one minute, five minutes, or 10 minutes in length. So if you don't have time to throw back an entire caffeinated career conversation, these K-Cup mini episodes of T4C can give you a quick caffeinated fix, whether you're on the go or you only have a few minutes to binge. So grab your mug and take a chug, because it's time for a caffeinated career double shot K-Cup with my guest, Chris Schroeder. So before we get into some of the super interesting investments that you've made at Next Billion Ventures, I thought it would be helpful for our young viewers and listeners to hear from the author of the best-selling Startup Rising, what the difference is between a startup and a brand new small business, because I think there are an awful lot of entrepreneurs out there who call themselves a startup when in fact they should be describing themselves as a small business. You know, I mean, a little bit is in the a realm of definition. If you start a restaurant for the first time, you are arguably starting up the restaurant. But the, the term in my world, which is both at Venture Capital and having run uh, tech companies before, it does refer very specifically to trying to build a company that leverages technology to really have a very large and very multiplier impact on whatever problem is that, that you want to solve overall. And so when we think about startups, we really are thinking about tech-enabled enterprises that have an ambition to scale quite large and to solve really big, thorny problems that'll take some time and effort and use technology to scale it in very powerful ways. My book, Startup Rising, is actually subtitled The Entrepreneurial Revolution Remaking the Middle East. And what I did was I wrote what was a very hopeful book at the time that was shining light on this kind of era of startups that are not only famous and done here in America for so many years, but are literally happening in every corner of the world. Because every corner of the world now has 60, 70, 80 percent people with a smartphone on their bodies and unbelievable talent everywhere and very big needs that they want to solve. And so now literally every corner of the world you can go to, you can find amazing women and men who are bringing to bear that passion and that desire to fix things and use technology to try to take a company that is a startup and make it what we call a scale up, which is to make it something that's quite large and successful and impactful. When you talk about scale, What kind of numbers do you think most VCs are looking at in terms of making it a worthwhile investment? The capital industry is a strange industry in a way because what they're trying to do is invest in multiple companies with the hopes of one or two of them will be very successful. Because the risk in startups is most of them, mathematically, statistically, most of them just don't make it. And that's fine because if they don't make it, if the entrepreneur is good, you'll back her for the next one. And that's part of what it is. But in order in a whole portfolio of companies to return money to your investors and to be successful, you are looking for a handful of them that will do very, very well. And the fact is, in America right now, and I would argue in the West and in China right now, to make that really worthwhile, investors are looking for billion dollar or larger companies. And so this is a really large trajectory of success in spaces where there are lots of people who need a service or lots of businesses that need a service and build it. For the entrepreneur, however, that's great. Some people have an ambition to build that, but a lot of people know that they can have a huge impact in their backyards or in their country or in their state or something else. That may not be a billion dollar company, but it's going to sustain itself. It's going to allow themselves to keep doing more and more. It's going to allow them to invest to make it bigger. Those are still entrepreneurs and they're still startup entrepreneurs, but that may be a different kind of a company than what the typical venture capitalist is looking for. Thanks for tuning in to this K-Cup mini episode of Time for Coffee. If you want to listen to our entire caffeinated career conversation, please check out the show notes for this episode. Thanks so much for listening to Time for Coffee, where the professionals in the jobs that most interest you always have time to grab coffee 24-7, no matter where you live. I have one quick favor to ask you. Remember to rate, review, and subscribe to Time for Coffee. Thanks so much.